Ten days ago, the people of Melbourne welcomed you to the 18th Commonwealth Games. Now, the city and its people prepare to say farewell. the Prince Edward Earl of Wessex, Your Excellencies, Prime Minister John Howard and Mrs Howard, Prime Minister Blair and Mrs Blair, Premier Steve Brax and Mrs Brax, the President of the Commonwealth Games Federation, Mr Mike Fennell and Mrs Fennell, my Lord Mayor John So and Mrs So, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 3,654 days ago, the staging of the 18th Commonwealth Games was just a glint in the eye of us all. Tonight we celebrate the closing of one of the world's greatest sporting events involving 4,500 athletes, 15,000 magnificent volunteers, together with an amazing team of 1,000 young men and women who have worked tirelessly in our office in order to deliver the Games to us all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we celebrate the greatest coalition of Commonwealth countries ever seen, a Commonwealth we have presented to the world as the smart Commonwealth. For the first time in history, the Queen's baton has travelled to every one of the 71 Commonwealth nations, completing a journey of some 180,000 kilometres, the longest relay on earth. I wish to thank Prime Minister Howard, Premier Brax, Lord Mayor John So, <laughs> together with our governments and indeed the City of Melbourne. I want also to pay tribute to our board for their many years of dedicated service. I wish to thank the people of Melbourne and Victoria for acting as such warm and enthusiastic hosts to our visitors from across the globe. I want to thank you, the athletes of the Commonwealth, for your spirit and passionate endeavour in both victory and in defeat. You have inspired us all. For the past 11 days, 71 nations and territories have symbolically come together as one great family united by the Commonwealth to stage the Friendly Games. Our Commonwealth is our shared values of democracy, justice and compassion. Our Commonwealth is our diversity. Words cannot convey how grateful I am to the staff, our magnificent volunteers, our athletes, our sponsors, the 9,000 police officers and members of the armed services, and of course you, the spectators and viewers, for making the Games such an inspiring success. Thank you, Melbourne, for this great partnership. We are all united by the moment. Melbourne, we did it! And the award to Samaresh Jung of India.
as you heard, winner of five gold medals in shooting out of a total of 16 gold to India in that sport. Not only did he win five, his wife Anuja won one in shooting as well. And Samarash also and won two gold and three silver medals in Manchester four years ago. Of the Commonwealth Games Federation, I have the honour to invite our Vice President, His Royal Highness, the Prince Edward, to declare the Games closed. In the name of the Commonwealth Games Federation, I proclaim the 18th Commonwealth Games, Melbourne 2006, closed. And in accordance with tradition, I call upon the sportsmen and sportswomen of the Commonwealth to assemble in four years' time in Delhi, India, and there to celebrate the 19th Commonwealth Games. May they display cheerfulness in Concord so that the spirit of our family of nations may be carried on with every great eagerness, courage and honour for the good of humanity and the peace of the world. I'm very proud to be able to respond on behalf of the athletes. The life of an athlete involves great sacrifice as we push our minds and bodies to their limits. That, depend, that demands great discipline, commitment, blood, sweat and tears. But it also relies on a huge amount of support. So I'd like to now thank all partners, families, coaches, clubs, organisations and governments that helped us achieve our best. Stand by for a stunning finale.
Well, I've been privileged to cover a dozen Olympic and Commonwealth Games. Some will say that this hasn't had the highbrow cultural influence that we often see injected into Olympic opening and closing ceremonies, but it's been all colour and movement, an ocean of contemporary sound and Commonwealth camaraderie. You could not ask for more.